I've just built this whole raised platform about a meter and a half off the ground using only my silky saw and my grand's first Brooks hatchet. I'm Clarice, you're on the Live Ready channel. things first I've got to gather some materials and there's plenty of stuff lying around you guys know me by now I'm not going to cut down any trees and I think important to note that when you decide to build something that's off the ground or any kind of shelter um, know what your capabilities are know how much you can carry know how much you can pick up so that you don't end up injuring yourself or injuring your back so I'm having a little water break at the moment but you can see behind me where I've basically packed out the basic structure of my platform. Also, I've decided to employ my hatchet in removing some of the side branches from the logs that I'm using. These are brilliantly sharp and wonderfully made hatchets or axes from Grand's First Brooks. This is the small um, hatchet. It's great for carrying around in your EDC because it's so small, but it does a wonderful job. Remember to check the video description for any links that I've posted for gear or recommended equipment. To get my cross struts up, I've got once again an end of the line bowline, which I'm just gonna turn into a running bowline just goes around the end there to make it a little bit easier for myself to build the shelter. So I'm just going to lift it more or less where I want it. Gotcha. I'm just going to do a square hitch so I'm going to go over from this side. Okay, and it goes back under. And as soon as I've got a bit of tension on the rope, this becomes easier. And this side can just be a temporary knot, um, just to hold it up on this side, which gives me an opportunity to do the other side. And over. Now that I've done my wraps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some wraps around my rope, also referred to as fraps. And my shoulder is starting to get a bit sore here. Okay, almost there. Give it a nice good tug. And a third one. Okay, now that should hold. Now, I'm just going to use my usual event hitch to do this and if I want to be able to take it down quickly again I can just put a toggle in there. Cool, that should hold. Now to the other side. Running bowline around my log. Okay, and I go over. Now that I've got three wraps on either side, I'm going to do some wraps around the log. And that just makes sure that there is no chance of this log slipping down on the tree. And I can really crank down on it here. Okay. By the way, this uses a lot more rope than you would think it does. So you do need quite a bit of rope, um, quite a nice length to do this and then once again just my event hitch I'm gonna do it at the back and voila the one log is up great now I've got two logs up in the trees I've got to test them to make sure that I can actually put my weight on them 
and um, now I can put my longitudinal struts on to make my platform. Let's test this one too. <laughs> so I'm swapping these around so that I've got the narrow end of the one um, along with the broader end of the next log um, just to make sure that I've got enough strength and rigidity on either side so that there isn't a weak side and a strong side. So now I've got all my logs up on my platform and I've got to make sure that they stay here and that they don't move around um, while I'm sitting on them or if I make a bed on them. Because I've got this length of rope hanging down here from where I did the square hitch here on the log, I'm just going to use that to start off. Um, and what I'll do is I'll go over, just make sure that that's sort of equal, over, and under my pole so that this is connected to that. Here we go. Okay, next one, go over it and underneath where I'm going to start the next piece of line I'm just once again doing a running bowline same principle as I did here just secure it over my log and underneath and over the next one there we go, race platform done and dusted. This is definitely going to hold my weight. Um, it's definitely solid enough and it's, I, I hung on this pole earlier, <laughs> so no chance of it falling down. Now I could make it a little bit easier for myself to get in and out of here by adding a step on here or building a ladder. And I can even just use the same square hitch as I used here to build a step. So I've got my gear up here now and um, this is what it looks like when you're standing up here. Pretty cool, you can see where I've lashed all of these poles. And on the other side I've got my bag. It's quite scary when you look down, because it's quite high actually. This is a good one and a half meters up. And then you've got a wonderful view of the forest all around. Good reasons to build a platform is because you want to get away from the animals that are on the ground, you want to store your food up here, you want your bed away from all the creepy crawlies that's on the ground or it's wet. Um, you don't have to build a bed this high or a camp this high, you can even use this as a roof if you slant it a little bit. Um, but this is a great way to lift your bed off the ground and put some hot rocks underneath, especially in cold temperatures. So if you've got rocks in a fire, um, you can put the rocks underneath your bed and get that heat from those rocks. Obviously you'll lower the bed a bit, it doesn't need to be one and a half meters up off the ground. Um, but we have a lot of cats around here and it is nice to be up off the ground. Um, it makes me feel a little bit safer and I can easily access some branches where I can store food away from the animals. If you are hunting, you can use this method to build a blind. Um, it gives you a great panoramic view of the forest and the surrounding areas and um, obviously you'll have to camouflage yourself a little bit and put some debris up but I can easily put a tarp up here now to make a roof or I can build another structure um, as a roof um, and make this into a nice little tree house for myself. You can also use this as a roof if you want to so I'm currently sitting on what would then be your roof. It doesn't have to be straight like this you can actually slant it and then put some debris on it like you would build a debris shelter um, and then just use it as a roof. Well, that's it from me. I hope you've had a good time watching me work really hard. Remember to hit like and subscribe, comment down below where you're watching from, and until the next time, live ready. Also, I've decided to... Oh, wait, tree. This Grangsford's a little bit out of breath. <coughs>